Hey Virgo, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to your reading. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Virgo. What is going on with my Virgo at this very moment and time? What does Virgo need to know? All right, let's see. I don't know why Nike seems significant. I just saw like the Nike symbol. All right, we have Dragon Emergence. So let me write that down, Nike. Oh, we have hair transformation. So you could be literally getting a haircut. I see someone getting a blunt, like cut or like a um, bangs. We have toad fortune. So you could literally be getting your fortune read. I, I got a very specific, like these are very specific messages, like straightforward. So I'm getting, you're getting your fortune told or maybe you're eating a fortune cookie or you bought like a little, um, a trinket of a toad for good luck. Overall, our energy is swan fidelity. And I just smelt strong nail polish or some type of like strong, either it's um, nail polish remover or nail polish. But, um, okay. <laughs> With dragon emergence, I'm getting a phone call. I'm seeing a telephone wire hair transformation. So you could be booking an appointment, beautifying yourself, getting your hair and nails done, um, going shopping for like spiritual items, good luck charms, crystals. With Swan Fidelity though, you could be preparing for a date or just loving on yourself. Let's see. Or this could be what you're doing on a date. But Swan Fidelity is usually a card of love. Could be self-love though, but let's get into the character. That's because that card is usually, and involves someone else. So I don't know if you're getting ready for a date. For Virgo. Yeah, you're spending big money to make yourself look nice for some type of date. Yeah, we have the High Priestess, Pisces. So I am getting that you are getting your fortune told. Or you're um, doing this for someone else. Maybe you read tarot or palms or tea leaves or something. We have the Ace of Wands. Nine of Wands. I also get that you could be beautifying yourself because um, someone told you, a fortune could have told you that you're going to run into someone. Or like a, um, you got a reading and it told you you were going to run into someone. We have the Moon card, Pisces. And the overall energy is Page of Cups. Okay, so I see that you're like really guarded. But okay, so this is what it is. <laughs> we have the Page of Cups, so that is a pleasant surprise. But with the Nine of Wands, I see that you're very guarded against the unknown right now. Ace of Wands, you have a new creative spark. So I feel like you've been informed that um, either someone's extremely attracted to you, Ace of Wands, because that's like, you know, fire, ambition, attraction. I keep forgetting the word. It's an it's another word specifically for the Ace of Wands that I keep forgetting. But basically, it's fire, attraction, creative energy, the sacral chakra energy. Of course, you are manifesting that within yourself and your creative project. Maybe you got your head down, you're just focused on work, and that's why you're so guarded to love and other things, or just going out in general. But I feel like you've been informed that the moment you go out, you're going to be attracting a lot of attention or the attention of someone specifically. And, and you're guarded against the unknown. I feel like this is a someone new with the Page of Cups. Yeah, because the Nine of Wands is guarded or perseverance for some of you. Then we have the Moon card, the unknown, things hidden beneath the surface. I feel like you don't want to run into somebody new, but it's going to happen the moment you step out of the house. Sorry, Carlos. You're avoiding new love. And I feel like this person could be the one. So I'm going to write down if I clarify. Very straightforward reading. You're scared. Clarifying the high priestess is the knight of pentacles. Yeah, you're focused on your work. You are focused on your work. Working hard. Yeah, two of swords. I feel like you don't, you aren't bothering with anything else besides that. 
Yeah, you're at the crossroads because of it, because of some reading you got. I keep getting that you got a reading. Or because of some higher knowledge on your career. And you're at a crossroads about how to how to move forward. But I feel like you're coming out of some type of writer's block or some type of career block you had. I always say writer's block, but that can go for any type of creative project. You're coming out of that. So if you've been feeling stunted when it comes to your creativity and work, you're coming out of that with emergence and the Ace of Wands. Clarifying the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Wands. Now you're back to your old self, back getting into whatever it is you um, used to like to do, but you were like blocked from it. If you used to be like a writer or an artist of any kind, any type of creative, you're back at it. You're back to coloring, sketching, tattooing, drawing, sewing, creating. You're back. So I got to write that down too. I got to write down everything. <laughs> You're back. So I've been getting like, Virgos have been, been having like a creative block for a while, but you're back now. You're feeling confident again. Yeah, we have the magician, Gemini and Virgo. So you're back to manifesting. You're back to creating. You're back to being confident. All right. Clarifying the nine of wands is the knight of cups. And then here comes the love offers and apologies. So I see that there's new people and past people here. Obviously, you're very guarded towards the past. The Nine of Wands, the Nine of Wands clarified by the Nine of Cups. Yeah, you don't want to deal with the past. So there, has some, there is or will be or has been someone from your past who is going to come and offer you love or an apology or both. Can be family, friends, work, love, put it where it goes for you. But it's like, it's, and of course, it's the moment when you gain that confidence back. Because you've been struggling, I feel. You've been struggling when it comes to your work. Or your intuition. Because I feel like your intuition is heavily intertwined with your creativity and your confidence. And so you had to, you reached a crossroads, two of swords. And you just started to work through it, power through it, um, dealing when it comes to your intuition, your high, the high priestess. You started to gain higher knowledge on yourself and how you work and your work in general. You started to do the work pretty much with the Knight of Pentacles. You started to do the work daily. And then you got it back somehow, some way you made it back to the Ace of Wands. And you got yourself back. This is also, you could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then we have the Magician, Gemini, and Virgo. Regardless, you got it back. Your third eye is open. You're back to creating and you've man you've manifested this creative energy back into yourself. And now you're moving forward with the nine of wands. And then here comes the apologies, knight of cups, clarifying the nine of wands, the love offers. It's, it is right when you're at the nine of wands too. That's the card of perseverance, the wounded warrior. You're about to close this cycle and be done with it. And then here they come. Then we have the tower, Aries. See, and I feel like because of the past or because of someone from your past coming back to apologize or offer you love, you're guarded. And then there's this tower because I feel like there's someone new coming as well. I feel like it'll be a shock to you, this person coming back to apologize and, or this new person. But honestly, I feel like the new person is more of a shock. You're just guarded against the, the apology from the past. I feel like you just don't want to deal with it. It could be a shock to this person that you're guarding. You just don't want to deal with them. Clarifying the moon is the four cups. Yeah, you're uninterested in the unknown or dealing with this person. Let me keep going. Yeah, page of swords. So there is a Pisces or someone from your past secretly spying on you. I feel like you don't care. You're unaware and you don't care. Because yeah, with the four cups, I feel like you may be disinterested in somebody new. Or the unknown, but I feel like that is the better choice, the better option. Overall, you use the three of wands, your ship's coming in. So, of course, as a Virgo, <laughs> your main focus is your work right now and working on you and your career, right? But I feel like in doing so, manifesting this creative energy is, of course, making you glow because you're showing up in this reading as the queen of wands. Very much so confident, glowing in your power. People can see you. manifesting a lot your three of wands your ships are coming in because of your manifestation abilities and the magician again is gemini and virgo and because of this you got a lot of love offs and apologies coming towards you and with the tower showing up 
in the Knight of Cups. I feel like it's it's a few people, not just one. And I, with the Four of Cups, I feel like you're disinterested in this new offer. You don't care, or they may be boring to you, or just not interested because you're focused on your work. But I do think you should go towards the new offer if you are to make a choice, because I feel like they could be the one. With Swan Fidelity, I feel like they could be the one. There's someone new who's been watching you, spying on you. There's, of course, people from your past as well, the Page of Swords. I feel like you're getting to know the unknown as well, because the Page of Swords can be a student, clarifying the moon, the unknown parts of you. So that's what I was getting in the beginning, studying and learning yourself with the High Priestess and the Knight of Pentacles. I'm also getting like someone from your past can see you as, you know, brand new and they're trying to figure out this new you as well and why you're disinterested. They don't like not knowing. I feel like someone's spying on you and you just seem like the moon card. You're like a mystery to someone and someone wants to learn this mystery, why you're disinterested. So I do see offers being given to you for cups, but you're not interested. I also feel like you don't see this new offer being handed to you, this new person. You don't see that. Because you're just so focused on work and your ship's coming in. So if you are to make a choice, if you do decide, I would go with the new person. But it's totally up to you if you want to keep working to you. <laughs> All right, you have free will. Final message for Virgo. Final message for Virgo. You are the magician at this time, fully in that magician energy. And you're just, it, the magician and the high priestess, your work is amazing right now. Everyone sees you as a mystery, all right? We have knife, intention, conflict, resolution. I feel like the conflict was within you, trusting yourself and your intuition and your manifestation abilities when it comes to being a creative or an artist. And you resolved it within yourself. Total hermit energy. We have ghosts and then, of course, the past. Memories would haunt you, unfinished business. I feel like you resolved that within yourself already. But there's someone who is going to come back and it is going to be a shock to you with the tower because this person feels like you have unfinished business. And I feel like you are disinterested, though. You've resolved these issues within yourself. I feel like you, this person's coming back because it, it's triggered by your transformation. They are triggered by your transformation you're a mystery to them or they can't keep up with you, keep contact with you. So they're like, they have, they feel like you, they have unfinished business with you. I can't talk. <laughs> Sorry, I had coffee. And we have skull, transition, reality, grief. Yeah, you're stepping into the unknown. The Page of Swords is like being a student, clarifying the moon, the mystery. You're stepping into the unknown about yourself. And just new a new chapter in your life. Uh, sorry to sound cliche, but that's what I'm getting here. You become a mystery not only to yourself, but to the people who knew you or are getting to know you. Yeah, you're just done with the past. And that's why it's like the skull transition reality grief. That's that four of cups. Uh, a total acceptance. The conflict is resolved within you. That person has unfinished business, not you. They don't feel like it's resolved. That's on them. You, you feel like it's done. You're good. It's resolved for you. It's on them. <laughs> Overall energy is cauldron. Creativity, surprising yourself, the rich broth. I'm so happy because me being a Virgo son, I've been going through creative blocks myself. So it's so good to see this and feel this energy, truly. You're back to your creative self and you're just overflowing with so much new creative energy. You're about to be very surprised by all the new energy, things that you've never done or thought of in the past when it comes to your creative hobbies or what's coming up. You're going to surprise yourself. All right. I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings and love. Namaste.